Our bodies are comprised of billions of molecular cells held together by electronic bonds. Sometimes these molecules are held together by a weak bond and can split apart, resulting in an unstable molecule with an unpaired electron. This molecule is known as a free radical. Some free radicals occur normally in our bodies through metabolism. However, there are many environmental factors that can cause an excess of free radicals such as pollution, radiation, cigarette smoke, and herbicides. In addition, stress, lack of exercise, and lack of sleep. These free radicals will start attacking healthy nearby cells in an attempt to replace their missing electron. When the attacked molecule loses its electron, it becomes a free radical itself. This can cause a chain reaction to occur, resulting in the disruption of millions of nearby molecules. This chain reaction is known as oxidative stress, and many experts agree that oxidative stress is thought to be leading causes for such things as arthritis, premature aging, edema, and leg swelling, hardening of the arteries, and even an increased susceptibility to cancers. We can see the results of this oxidation in our everyday environment, such as a rusting piece of metal or fruit that's exposed to air. Think about it, if you cut a piece of apple and leave it out in the open, in a very short period of time, you'll see the surface begin to turn brown. And that's how quickly oxidation occurs. Imagine this happening in your body. It is literally decaying otherwise healthy cells. So how do we protect ourselves from these free radicals that are wrecking havoc in our bodies? Well, if the destructive process is through oxidation, then the answer is antioxidation, the opposite of oxidation. And this is achieved with antioxidants. Antioxidants stop this chain reaction by donating one of their own electrons to the free radicals. The great thing is, the antioxidant nutrient itself does not become a free radical by giving away its electron. It's kind of like a win-win situation for the antioxidant and the free radical.